Okay, hi everyone. Um, so this problem, this problem, uh, circuit is given, and we want to find i x and i y. This is actually the same as your quiz. Um. Okay. So let's start. Um. So. We, we see a loop here. So if you look at the outer loop, we can easily write a KVL on the outer loop. So let's just start from here, going up. So minus or negative VY. And I come here, okay. So this is a current source because we don't know its voltage. It's, it's not a good idea to go to this loop, okay. So therefore, uh, we go to the, the other loop because the other loop has voltages. As you remember, the KVL, we work with voltages. We add, add up the voltages, okay? So therefore, in this case, it's better to consider this loop because it has voltage source, resistors, okay? So again, from uh, negative Vy minus 20, I x and then here plus 40 I x equal to zero. So that is the KVL. And um, okay, and also we can write a KCL here. Okay, so there's I Y so KCL at node A. Call it node A here, uh, I, Y, and then the current which is going out is negative 6 amp, and then the current which is going here, see this current is continuing and it's I, X. So because they are in series, so it's going to have the same current I, X. This also has I, X. So plus I, X equal to zero. Okay, so the only thing is that also Vy and Iy have a relation, right? So we know that Vy is actually, is the omla, is actually 10 times Iy. Okay, so therefore what we can do, we can um, replace basically Vy here as 10 i y so equation call it this one two and three so you put three in one so you get negative 10 i y and then plus negative 20 and 40 plus 20 i x equal to zero in other word um 10 i y equal to 20 i x and i y is twice i x so this is one equation and then from equation two we have that i y plus i x equal to six amp okay so we have from two we have i y plus i x equal to six and then i y is two i x so two i x so this is two i x from here two i x plus i x plus i x equal to three so three i x equal to three so i x equal to one oh sorry i made a mistake here i x plus i y is equal to six I x plus I y equal to six. Yeah, from this, this is I y. From equation two, I x plus I y is six. So two I x plus I x equals six. So three I x six, so I x equal to two amp. And then if I x equal to 2 amp, then I y is twice that. Comes 4 amp.
Okay, now going back to the top. So I Y is four amp. So four amp. Um, four amp is going this way, and then I X is two amp. Two amp is going that way, and six amp was coming inside this knot. So the KCL holds here, right? Okay, no, so part A is done, find I, X, and I, Y. Now part B, it says, um, calculate the power of the independent source P of six amp, okay? So as you see in the six amp, uh, in this figure, of course the current is six amp going up, but we also need to know its voltage to calculate the power P equal to VI. Um, so for voltage, um, if we call this, this is VY, right? This is the same as VY. Okay, and VY was 10 times IY. So let's just start from here. That voltage um, VY is 10 times IY, which is 10 times four, which is 40 volts. Okay, so therefore, if you look at the six amp, this is its voltage. This is V by 40 volt. Now I'll look at the, the polarity. So as you see, this is uh, not a passive sign convention because passive sign convention says if you have an element and if this is plus and minus, the current should be coming from the plus to minus inside, okay? So if this is V, this is I. So this is passive sign convention. Um, so this is passive sign convention. However, here, if you look at here, this is, oh, sorry. This is plus, this is minus, but the current is going from minus to plus. So this is not passive sign. So therefore you can uh, put, okay, negative here, negative V times I, 40 times six, which is negative. 240 watts. So this was six amp, and this was plus and minus 40. So negative 40 times six, which is 240 watts. Okay, and it's negative, it means that the power is basically generated. So this um, this current source is um, basically um, del delivering power.